I'm Terry Oracle, and this is the Pixel Tarot. I'm excited. Before we start, the packaging on this was immaculate. Amazing packaging. Thank you so much, Pixel Tarot, for making the packaging perfect. Now, it comes with a little light. It comes with a little, a little blue light, so we're going to see the Pixel Tarot under the light. That is so, that is so cool. That I've never had a... <laughs> I've never had a tarot come with that. That like just the just the light alone made the made the whole experience wonderful in opening it. Obviously hardbound box. Uh, this is so cute. I had to get it. It's not like revolutionary whatnot, but uh, this is an amazing looking deck online. And I'm curious what it looks like. Ooh, we got a nice book opening hardbound box. Ooh, with instructions. <gasps> cool. I got to use the light immediately. I'm sorry, I have to use the light immediately. I can't, ooh, ooh, oh, look. That is so cool. <gasps> that is so cool. I mean, whoa, that is so, all right, okay, I haven't even boxed it yet. <laughs> instructions, man, that is a thick instruction booklet. I gotta say that. Instructions, there are a lot of instructions. Um, wow, that is a massive waste of space. I mean, we can't put more in there? I, mean, I guess so. Uh, okay, there's the book. Kind of disappointing. Um, I mean, I guess. Uh, anyway, at death, we have the death. A lot of, like a lot of wasted space on here, in my opinion. Uh, same with the miners. Book is underwhelming, but we, we're not interested in the book. We're interested in the tarot, my friends. And I already like it. I already like it. Here is what the box looks like without the tarot in it. And here is the... Ooh. Look at... Now, there's a clear difference between making a tarot deck and then making this tarot deck. They put... They, they put the effort into this deck. I mean, there was a lot of thought, planning, uh, everything went into this deck. That is, a, that is so cool. That is so cool. Here's the back of it. Of course, we got to, okay, we're going to waste like half the review on the light with using the light. Okay, there's the back of it. Nothing special with the light. Uh, here's the front of it. Oh, that is so cool. That is that is so cool. Okay, we're going to be using the light throughout the entire review. I can see that already. All right. Anyway, enough playing around. Let's look at the Pixel Tarot. The deluxe edition, not the standard edition. We got the Pixel Tarot Collector's Edition. This, this is taped on here. This is like an afterthought. It looked like it was just taped on here. The special little... Anyway, I hope that doesn't peel off. Anyway, um, there you can buy it there. Here's the rest of the box. So, Pixel Tarot. So, here is the Fool. Um, interesting. Okay. So, the Fool. Ooh, I like the, the, light, the light shine on that. We do need to zoom in a little bit. Pardon the... Pardon the camera shake. I apologize in advance for the camera shake, but we need to zoom in a little bit more and so we can see all the details for the cars because this is one of those where I need to see it. So we got a various things. We got a light. We got a belt. Um, interesting indeed. Okay, so uh, I, this is the first time I think I've ever seen a waterfall in a full tarot. I'll be honest with you. It's the first time I've ever seen a waterfall in a full tarot. I mean, normally that's going to be on the Empress or whatnot. Ooh, look at that. Look at the stars and sort of the aspect there. I like that. Um, interesting. Interesting. There's no faces. I thought there would be a face. Uh, well, it's pixelated, so maybe there's no face. I do like that we include the number up here. It's like way out of the way. You can barely see it. The borders are small, very non-obtrusive borders. So overall, I'm impressed with that. So we have stars, we have an outline, we have more stars over there for the, um, for the light. I'm surprised we didn't have some pillar action on here, but we do not. Okay, so the light is kind of gimmicky. I thought there would be a little more done with the light, but no, guess not. 
I don't know what I expected. I guess I expected some variants. It just looks kind of gimmicky. Uh, you just have, you know, leaves or stars or something. I thought there would be some hidden information, some astrology, Kabbalah stuff, maybe, um, maybe some Hebrew letters. I mean, I would have done it differently. I would have done it differently. I would have put a lot of information embedded in here. This looked like we kind of filled it with stuff. In my opinion, in my opinion. Uh, anyway, so there, uh, there is the uh, Empress. So we have a three up here and a three there. And we have a three there. So that's kind of cool. Uh, again, no faces, which does make it pretty, pretty easy to develop and, and do, I guess. You have an outline underneath here. Mm, Emperor, that's kind of cute. I really wish there was more secret information. Maybe there will be later. Maybe there will be some secret information here. But, uh, oh man, I would have put, whew, I would have put astrology stuff. I would have put maybe a text meanings. I would have done a lot of things differently in my opinion. Um, maybe there's some later. But now it just sort of looks like an outline or, and it could be something where it is restricted on what you can embed in there, but I just thought there would be more. So it looks, it's kind of gimmicky. Um, I probably, unless I see something amazing later, I probably will never use the light, which is kind of upsetting because I thought that this was gonna be something awesome and cool and I definitely would use it all the time. And during a private reading in person, during a psychic fair or something, I would break it out and say, look, here's the Hebrew letter. Uh, here's your astrology associations. And, and the client would be like, ooh, that is so cool. But I'd just be like, oh, here's a, here's a star. And here's some leaves. And they're outlining their leg. So I thought it'd be more. I have to say, I did. So here we go. Mm, interesting, we have the chariot in there. So, you know, kind of cool there. Um, I kind of standard with the chariot. Strength. Uh, I mean, we do have a sort of a lemmascape spam here. We're sort of outlining the, uh, outlining everything. Nothing really added. I thought there'd be more added, more stuff in there. Uh, here we have the lights and kind of the dots of the stars and whatnot. So that is kind of interesting. And what else we got? By the way, card quality is, it's, it's okay. Um, seems like 330. I mean, it, it does have the extra texture for the hidden information and whatnot. But um, here we go. We have finally have something, sort of a little, okay, then we have an A. We have A's and O's kind of thing. I'm not sure what that is. So, Wheel of Fortune. And then we have the scales being the hidden information here. This is just kind of cool. Justice card. I'm not saying it's not cool. It is cool, and I think it's a, a good use of the light. And I did get very ecstatic uh, with the light when I got it open and running. But uh, I just wish it was used for something better. Anyway, there is the hanged man. We have death with the rose being that. Death is pretty standard. Um, then we have the Temperance card, which is kind of cool looking. We have the Devil, interesting. Okay. And we have the, the Tower. So a little bit of lightning, a little bit of things falling through. A star, pretty standard with stars in the background. And then we have the Moon. Um, well, there's something. Is it a camel? I'm sure. No, no, that's, I'm sorry, that's the wolf, except in a smaller form. Okay, here's something at least more interesting. I like that. That's kind of cool. I like that. So you have the wolf and the dog sort of embedded within the tower. And sort of outlining. That's kind of cool, too. I think that's a good use of that. Let's see if this improves over time. Ooh, I like the halo. The halo makes it nice. Ooh, musical notes. Uh, what's that, a clef? That's a treble? No, that's a bass clef, I think. <laughs> anyway, uh, outlining, judgment, rebirth, reincarnation. 
And then we have, ooh, that is interesting. We have this for the world. All right, let's look at uh, the miners. Not much here, a lot of use of the, the uh, hidden information here. And then we have sort of the repeating pattern there. I like sort of the, almost like a fiery aspect there. Um, kind of cool. And here we have, again, sort of reuse of the symbolism here within the three. And the four, sort of an outline. That's interesting. I like this. This is darker than I would have expected from a four. I'll be honest with you. This is darker than what I had expected to see from a four. Normally, you have more of a lit background, so it's a little bit darker than what I thought it would be. Um, with the five sort of outlined here, six, pretty standard, the seven, pretty standard. Man, it really looks like they, they're just like, you know, screw it. We're just going to spam, <laughs> we're going to spam these, we're going to spam this everywhere. Uh, maybe that is, maybe that is throughout. It does look like it is throughout. We're just going to kind of spam that everywhere. The seven with the eight. With the nine, it looks like a very uneventful use of, uh, of that. Okay, so we have the same repeating symbolism, the repeating symbolism here with the page. Night, the top of every one has the repeating symbolism. Same here with the queen. And then with the king. Okay, so it seems the top of the wand has the same effect for all of the wands. Do have the, ooh, we're missing the lizard? We are missing the lizard. We're missing, we have the cat, but we are missing the lizard. That is interesting. Okay, ace of swords. Uh, we just have sort of a sword. Swords everywhere with the ace of sword. I think that's pretty good looking graphics on that. I like that. The two, the halo, is an interesting aspect. We have swords spammed everywhere, a little bit of an outline. Ooh, a little bit of almost like a snaking effect around that. That's kind of cool looking. And the halo, obviously. Um, we have swords everywhere. Oh, dripping blood, maybe? Now, that is an interesting use. I like that. A little bit of a dripping blood here. Then we have this. It's kind of cool. Um, swords, swords everywhere with Lord of Defeat. And we have... Uh-huh, there's sort of that going on. We have, oh, sort of a, a action lines, thought action lines, or surprise action lines. That's kind of a weird aspect. It almost given that they're surprised by what's how they're looking at. So here we have more halo action, kind of just a lame repeat of the swords. Oh, man, I thought there'd be so much more. I thought there was going to be so much more. I was just stoked with this light. Like you saw me at the beginning of the video. I'm like stoked. I'm kind of disappointed. I like the tarot deck. Like if I turn the light off completely, will I use this deck? Absolutely. This looks amazing. Will I bother getting the light out and going, look, during a stream or during a private reading or during my own readings? No. I wouldn't, which, which is a shame because there was so much opportunity here that just didn't manifest itself. Wasted opportunity, in my opinion, there could have been so much more. So the Knight of Swords, and then we have the Queen. Oh, nice. I like the crown. There we go. We're finally getting somewhere. I like the crown sort of being on there. And the King of Swords having pretty much nothing. All right, let's go for the cups where we just have a lot of cups. A little bit of Ace of Cups action there. We have a Two of Cups. Mm -hmm, sort of an extra thing. I like the, I like the, the negative space symbolism here. It's kind of cool. Negative space symbolism. Oh, the rest of it is just more cups. The Three of Cups. Again, more negative space tracing symbolism and whatnot. A little bit of a fall card. Then we have uh, more tracing, more cups. Uh, same thing with sorrow. Same thing with the six. And the seven. 
Um, yeah, it's pretty much Rider Waite Smith, except pixelated. There's no face in the moon, which is kind of weird, but okay. Normally, people are pretty, pretty, uh, pretty adamant about having that in there. The tin is always is beautiful. It's a beautiful deck. Very good colors. I love it. Sort of the symbolism out of here, and again with the halo. Almost look like like wings uh, when you sort of frame it like that. We have a knight with um, yeah. There we go. Uh, okay. And the queen, more effects coming through the cup. And the king, okay. A little bit extra symbolism here. Overall, not a ton, not a ton. Okay, now we're going with the coins. Looks like we're going with leaves again with the coins. I'm going to lamiscate repetition with that. And then here, it looks like uh, pentacles and more pentacles. Here we have some use of that. Looks cool, looks cool indeed. A lot of pentacle action here. Um, I like the snowflakes instead of pentacles. I think that's a good use of uh, good use of the effect. And we have the, oh, there we go, sort of an aid, sort of a first aid symbolism here. We are handing out, not only giving gifts, but we're offering aid and assistance, which I think is a pretty good, pretty good thing there. Okay, we have a seven. Uh, eight, pretty standard. Nine, again, more halos, more pentacles. And a 10. Um, okay, page. Knight, uh, queen, and king. Okay, overall, um, it's cool. I like that I got a light. With my, uh, with my pledge, so the light is cool. Uh, the blue light is nice, some of the effects. Obviously, I've been repeating it a 100 times, but a missed opportunity for um, subliminal kind of things or hidden information within here. It seems like we could have done a lot more uh, to make this happen. Do I like the tarot deck? I mean, it feels like, it feels like that, um, yeah. I like it. Would I use this as a regular deck? Yes. Yes. I think this is unique enough and cool enough that I'd love to use this every night on the stream. I mean, I guarantee this is going to be used every night on the stream. I love this deck. Uh, overall, I think this was a good purchase for me uh, as far as that. Love the box. Well, well packaged. You have um, the instructions, a missed opportunity with... Uh, all this wasted space, in my opinion. Um, let's see, you do have, let's see if there are instructions for the light. No, it just go straight into the cards, like the fool, the magician, blah, 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 blah. Mm, yeah, nothing really here. So it's not really instructions, it's more of a, just a keywords, um, you know, basic sentiment for whatever card you're looking at. Kind of a missed opportunity on the book, a missed opportunity with the, uh, with the, Blue light effects, beautiful packaging, beautiful deck though. And I think this is overall fantastic. I like it. What do you think about the Pixel Tarot? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching. Please hit like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.